Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 28th of 2019. Well, it is titled the space station crosses a spotless sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our sun, the nearest star to us. And we see that it is spotless overall, except for this diagonal line of images going through it. Now those images are of the International Space Station. So what that is, is that the International Space Station in orbit around the Earth moves through the sky. And at times, if you plan it correctly, you can figure out exactly when it would happen to pass in front of the sun from your location. And when that happens, it would do something like this. So a number of images taken here. And you can then see the International Space Station, uh, its solar panels out to either side and the main body in the middle, uh, very clearly visible against the sun. Now what this does not give you is a sense of size comparison of the two. And that is because that they're not at the same distance. The sun is much, much further away. So the space station is going to look relatively large relative to the sun than it actually is. If you could compare them to compare them directly, the space station would be a tiny speck by comparison and you would not be able to see any detail on it if you took it off to that distance. But there are websites you can go to to figure out when the International Space Station will be visible from your location. So you won't be able to see it when it passes in front of the sun like this without spe special equipment. But you can see it passing uh, right after sunset right before sunrise from your location at times. So there are ways to look that up as well. If you want to observe the International Space Station and see this bright light crossing the sky as it moves through its orbit. Now the other thing we note here is that the sun is very very clean. There are no sunspots on the sun and that has been the case for most of this year. There have been very low sunspots. Uh, now part of that is because we are at solar minimum but this is an unusually deep solar minimum meaning even though it's supposed to be the lowest number of sunspots in the sun's 11 year sunspot cycle it's even lower than that. So we're really seeing very few sunspots and it does have some astronomers questioning exactly what this sunspot cycle means. We know the sun goes through an 11 year cycle of sunspots where sunspots will come and go and there will be times when there are a lot of sunspots and then five or six years later there'll be hardly any sunspots and then five or six years after that there would be a lot of sunspots again. But there are longer term cycles for the sun and we know that there have been times in the past when there have been very few sunspots for an extended period of time, not just a couple of years, but for a couple of decades. And the most notable of these back in the uh, late 1600s was called the Maunder Minimum. So there was a time where for 50 years there were hardly any sunspots and that the sun looked like this. So it is trying helping us to better understand the longer term cycles of the sun as well. Now you can along the edge see some solar prominences and those are some of the uh, some of the activity on the sun some material being lifted off the surface by the sun's magnetic field. So we do see some signs of activity but the sunspot activity is essentially nothing at this point. So that was our picture of the day for October the 28th of 2019. It was titled the space station crosses a spotless sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be red robot. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.